Hi, my name is Eric and welcome to Profiling, Combining and Splitting Data video series. So in this video series, I'd like to discuss about condition split. On my previous videos, I discussed about lookup, merge join, merge and union all. Check them out. Okay, so what is condition uh, split? So before we continue, let's understand um, what that is. Okay, so I'll go first open my IDE and uh, I'll look for condition split. And we can see our roots data rows to different output depending on the content of the data. Use conditions, access, uh, SSS expressions to specify which rows are routed. For example, separate record mm -hmm. that need to be cleaned from those that are ready to be loaded. Uh, mm -hmm. Or routing only on a subset of record. So um, this condition split has many uses, but uh, in short, it splits data based on a certain condition. So as you can see here, maybe you're looking for an error. Uh, for example, phone number is a few digits, or maybe SSN number. You can write a condition to say if uh, SSN, SSN number, we are expecting maybe SSN is about uh, three, two, uh, that's five, and then three, eight numbers. So if it's less than eight or greater than eight, route the data somewhere else or send the notification to uh, a, a person who does data entry or uh, patient registration, whatever it is, to correct that information. They can use split. For my example here, I'm going to use probably based on my data, Yeah, I'll try to split people based on region, okay? And this could be as easy as uh, maybe you have an online platform selling products online and you like to uh, uh, tax people differently according to their state. So you may need to uh, filter the information based on uh, the state or to um, get the information based on the state and then tax them accordingly because each state has different taxes or maybe it can be even uh, outside the country. Okay, so uh, we can do this in SQL but it may take time to do the development work and you may need to rework on the code in case there are any logic changes. Okay, so uh, in this situation, always SSS comes in handy. Um, and the advantage of it is if you use SQL, probably just gonna use this data in one database. Uh, but uh, in SSS, you can extract information from multiple sources uh, and just do the split and work on wherever you wanna work accordingly. So, without talking so many words, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, from a previous example, I think this is lookup. Again, if you haven't watched these videos, please go ahead and watch them. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this condition. and uh, I'll go inside the package and what I'm going to do here is at the end here once we have the lookup match I'll split this data so I just go ahead and uh, uh, remove this very quick package is growing bigger and bigger but 
I hope you guys are following along. Just go ahead and delete. Look for condition is split. And I was showing you guys the, yeah, here it is. Okay, as you can see here, we have one input and based on condition, we can have multiple in output. So we're just gonna do a matchup. So if you double click on condition split, I click the wrong one. Uh, go and edit and here is where you put a condition so you can put the column and I'll say maybe if the first thing is if region name equals to Wakanda we will try to treat this different and then case two here this is case one and they can give a name like maybe Wakanda region and case two is i'm gonna give if wakanda is not equal to you so you can use anyhow really so um you can choose as a saying you can um uh, find the length of the maybe phone number or ssn number to value that information and case two i'm gonna say this is not wakanda region Okay, but you can use different scenario and again if you follow my video series and probably i'm gonna add here to see how you can um, um, check for errors or something and i'm taking my notes here so that i can remember to include the video i'll go ahead and click ok my condition is ready, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, this is going to have uh, two inputs. One. will be Wakanda region and probably may need a um, different here so I'm gonna bring another derived column here and you guys can uh, as you can see, you can say blue one. Um, you guys um, can go ahead and input this data maybe in a text file or a database. So this will be not a kind of region. So I will add a data view here for both and see if my statements are true. So I'll label data viewer here, click OK, and execute my package. So I'll save it first, and I'll go ahead and execute it. As you can see, uh, the first one here, Wakanda region data viewer, it only shows um, region from Wakanda and uh, here um, not Wakanda region you see um, other region which is Amunda and Thib so um, that's how we use condition split
Um, thank you. Uh, I don't want to do that, but uh, thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Peace.